In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your Blender animation or mocap data quickly using standard animation layers UI and workflow. And that's directly in your 3D viewport with an extra layers functionality. And that's by using animation layers. And animation layers is a Blender add-on that simplifies the work with the NLA editor into a standard animation layers workflow. You can quickly create, select, and edit each layer without the need to go into the NLA tweaks mode and always seeing the end result while working on any layer. The add-on offers a lot of features like the ability to add or remove layers quickly or control their influence using the NLA's mute, influence, solo and its blending modes options. Also when you are happy with your animation, you can always merge your layers or bake into a new layer. And if you want to keep the same amount of the overall keyframes after baking, then you can also use the smart bake option. The add-on got a lot of updates, so actions can be now selected also directly from the layers UI list using the smart arrows. Also the add-on offers features like auto rename, so when turned on, layers get the name of the action when an action is being selected. Also you have auto blend and when turned on, a blend type is being applied automatically based on the scale and the rotation values. This is to avoid characters and objects exploding or scaling to zero when selecting the wrong blend type. Shape key layers are now also included and available only on selected mesh objects. You can select the data type object or shape key from the top of the add-on panel. It is now possible to create, delete, merge, bake and extract shape key layers. There is also a new feature for cleaning mocap which is extract marked keyframes. Also you can use the timeline markers for the character key poses and important in-betweens. And the operator will create a new layer with only the marked keyframes and evaluate the interpolation of the Bezier handles. There are new bake methods with new options. The new method can now also bake upward and can merge additive layers into a new additive layer. It also has a faster smart bake. The old method is also still available from the options. Smart Bake got improved and is now estimating the new Bezier handles of the new baked curves. Also you have View and Edit Multiple Layers feature, so keyframes in the timeline and the dope sheet. Also you have View and Edit Multiple Layers feature, so you can choose the type of the keyframe visibility and exclude layers using Lock or Mute. Library Override is working with animation layers, so when using Library Override, it is better to make sure your source file is not including any animation layers or NLA tracks as well. You can apply cyclic F-curves, so to select bones, if you already have other modifiers applied, then it will still keep the modifiers and add cyclic F-curves to them. Also, the updates added a new improved UI, lots of bug fixes, more options such as locking, duplicating layers and selecting the actions directly in the panel. There is also a better integration with the NLA editor, so it's not disabled anymore and you can now use it while working with the animation layers add-on. Now if you want to check out this add-on, link is in the description. Tell me in the comments below what do you think about this add-on. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.